What is up y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We're out here at Copper Rock for the front nine and this is part two. I played the back nine the other day. Had to film these videos on separate days because I was running out of daylight. However, we're back. Hopefully we can finish strong here on the front nine, which is our back nine. We finished at three under par on the first nine. I know that was really confusing. Part one is the back nine. Part two is the front nine. The back nine finish a three under. So we've got a chance to post a number out here at Copper Rock. We're just gonna head straight into it. Number one, par five, 524 yards. Pretty straight away, some bunkering down the left and right. That first bunker on the right is carryable. Second bunker you see down on the right is roughly 290 yards to it. So definitely reachable. See if we can't hit it well. Our target aiming point is gonna be just right of the bunkers on the left, little baby fade. And that is what we were looking for right here. 198 yards left, looks to be kind of a front pin right there. Gonna be going with a six iron, let's knock it close. came up a little short there that must have been playing more uphill than i gave it credit for and it's a little chilly this morning so probably need to factor that in good spot though chipping back up the hill see if we can't chip it close not our best effort right there not our best effort yeah that wasn't very good We're in with the par here on one. These are a little slower than they were the other day. There's a little dew on the ground. I'm gonna need to give the putts and chips in and around the greens a little more pace with that dew on the green. Yeah, I didn't hit the chip firm enough. Didn't hit the first putt. You know, we were sneaking up on it. A little sneak attack for the par. We're on number two, 445 yards. Bends a little to the right. We've got some bunker down the left, kind of some grass bunkering down the right it looks like i'm going to be taking it at this mound kind of the second mound from the left i'll point it out here on the screen we're going to tee it high and let it fly now that i step back here and looked at it we're going to be going directly at the center of that bunker right there Down the left side, I think it should be okay. Tough to see the ball down. Might have trundled just through the fairway. We're in great shape right here. Thankfully, it didn't roll through the fairway. 142 yards left to pretty much a back middle pin. Gonna aim kind of left edge of the green. Hopefully fade it right to the hole. All right, should be a good number right there. Faded a bit much, but we got a good birdie look. All righty, that landed right on the number we were looking for right there. Hop for just a bit, trundle a bit to the right, putting back up the hill, going to be kind of right to left, about 15 to 18 feet here, left for our birdie. I gotta start hitting these putts. I know it's not gonna be quite as fast as normal. That was a good line, but about two feet short. All right, even par through two holes here on the front, which is part two, three under on the day 
total. We're in great shape to post a good number. We're on to number three, par four, 303 yards. I didn't come here to lay up. We're gonna be teeing it high, letting it fly. See if we can't knock it on the green. Would love to get a deuce on a par four. See if we can't make a good swing. Stay in good tempo. All righty, you can see the red flag there off in the distance, bunker to the right. Pretty much gonna be taking dead aim. down the left side kind of left side of the green hit it pretty good and came up just a little short it is chilly out here all righty found the collection area my ball landed like right up there i think i see the pitch mark right right there it looks like it's where it landed so we just needed a couple more feet and we would have been up there dancing chipping back up the hill looks like around the hole it's going to want to go a little to the left maybe if i land it in here might kick a little right see if we can't get it up and down for bird that one looked like it had a chance oh i can see from the dew line about two inches to the left Would love for the putter to show up today. Yeah, hadn't hadn't been a very good display thus far. However, it's in the past. We're on to number four, par three. Slightly down the hill, 194 yards. I'm gonna go with a seven iron. And this view behind the screen is ridiculous. That's pretty awesome. Snow-capped mountains up there. See if we can't knock this close and roll the rock. We need to start rolling the rock. We've had some opportunities early and with the score on the other nine and part one, we could be well, well under par right now. Oh boy, landed just a little right, kicks left. Apparently I'm a member here because that was look to be a member's bounce. We've got a close one up there. You'll love to see it. It landed right here, pin high, and then kicked dead left. You can see from the water line there that basically went straight to the left once it landed. Good number. And unfortunately, we're not playing the closest of pin game because that's about two and a half, three feet right there that, I don't know, that may give it a run from 194. We will take that putting back down the hill. Gonna play pretty straight. We're in with the birdie right there. Moving us one under on this nine. That little three footer back there did try to break on me a little bit, but snuck it in. Pin slammer there on four. Moves us to four under par and we're on to number five. We can really start to take this low if we can make a birdie or eagle here on the par five. Number five, 567 yards. Bends a little to the left. There's some bunkering down the left side. I do think I can carry kind of the right side of it. That's gonna be our aiming point. So that's the bunker that I'm talking about and the green sits off kind of back in there. So our aiming point's gonna be that right corner of that bunker. You can see the green sitting off back there to the left. We are in great shape right here. You can see the red flag there off in the distance, 251 yards. Even though I've been coming up slightly short on some of these shots here today with it being pretty cold out here, I am gonna go with a four iron. I'm gonna hit kind of a, not a stinger, but kind of a mini stinger, try to get it kind of trundling up there. I think that should be a good number. Hybrid, 
I really do think it's going to be too much club here, so we're going to go with four iron. We will take that right there. Might be slightly short of the green, but should be in great shape. I ended up going pretty much full on Stinger right there. Should have flighted it a little higher. It being uphill and kind of wet this morning, not gonna get a ton of trundle out of it. And that pin was further back than I thought. I was 100 or 251 yards to the center. So probably should have hit hybrid if I would have known that pin was all the way back there. However, we're right here, really in pretty good shape. Probably gonna be breaking a little to the left. I'm gonna go with the gap wedge here. I wanna kind of bump this into the that little slope there, get it trundling, kind of releasing like a putt. Anytime you've got a lot of green to work with, I wanna get those chips rolling and releasing like a putt. It was good distance right there. I thought it was gonna break a lot more to the left, pretty much right on the distance, but really almost no break. And with the par here on five. Now this is a super cool possibly drivable par four, 329 yards. Looks to be a water hazard down to the left, some bunkering out to the right, but I think that that water hazard is probably just over 300 to carry. So if we rip on this, we might be able to get it up there close to the green. Four under, we haven't been four under on a 18 hole course vlog. Mm, maybe in a little while, yeah. So very happy with the game. Putter could be better, but you know, some days you just don't have all things working, but enough to score well. All right, hit that one decent. It was kind of heading at that right bunker. Looked like it landed just short, kicked a little left, should be in great shape. Got a similar type shot as the last hole. I'm gonna use a gap wedge, get it rolling up there like a putt. There is a shelf. That pin is back on a back shelf there. So we need to give this a little more pace. From what I can tell from here, it's gonna be breaking a little to the left. So we're gonna play it a couple feet out to the right. Well, we gave it enough pace to get it up to the top shelf, but not enough to get it all the way to the hole. All right, made par there. That was a much better stroke on the first putt. That second putt should have dried the ball off. I just kind of went up there and hit it and it was wet and it kind of came off the putter a little squirrely and almost missed it. So lesson learned, thankfully it went in. We are still at four under par. We're on to number seven, three holes remain, par three, 213 yards. And how about that view right behind that green? That is pretty sick. I'm gonna be going with a five iron here. That wasn't very good right there. I kind of blocked that out to the right. It was pretty much pin high. Thankfully it didn't, well, I don't know, maybe if it would have hit one of these rocks, maybe it would have kicked it down onto the green. I was gonna say, thankfully it didn't hit one of the rocks. We were right there. We're all kind of working away from us here, all down the hill. So if I can get anything landing just off the green. If I would have chipped that in, 
that would have been on the highlight reel of the channel trying to dodge that little rock to the right and the lie was a little uneven i thought that had a chance Oh, I thought that was gonna break a little right. That's a bogey. That would have been an epic up and down right there. I hit the putt kind of where I wanted it. I thought it was gonna break a little to the right. It just didn't budge. However, three under par, two holes remain. We're on number eight, par four, 445. Pretty much straight away. Some bunkering down the left and right. Our target aiming point is gonna be a spot on the cart path that you're gonna see off in the distance beyond the green. That's gonna be our target. That little circle of a cart path is what we're aiming at. Down the right side, it carried that first bunker. I think it should just be in the rough. All right, not too bad right here. Right rough, 132 yards back up the hill. I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge because it is playing pretty good uphill. A little right. I think it hung on to the green. Honestly, I'm not sure how much green's over there. Hopefully we're putting. Well, this has been so much fun. Hope you all have enjoyed coming along. If you have, drop a like down below. That would be greatly appreciated. That lets me know that you enjoy these traveling course vlogs and all that good stuff. Make sure to subscribe and ring that bell as well. I want to say thank you to Copper Rock for having me out here. This place has been so much fun. Views are spectacular. Number nine, our 18th hole. We are three under par. Birdie here would finish a four under par. We'd shoot in the 60s, see if we can do it. 365 yard par four. We're gonna be taking it at that left bunker. It's kind of in the fairway. We're just gonna be taking it right at it, play a little fade off of it. I didn't know how far it was to carry that bunker. From my guesstimation, I could carry it. Obviously not, that hopped right in it. Squared out a little right, but I think it was on a pretty good number. How I like to play those fairway bunker shots, I like to take one extra club, choke up a little bit, because when you kind of maneuver your feet around, you kind of settle lower. So choking up, I have a tendency to chunk it out of fairway bunkers if I don't choke up. So just choke up, take an extra club, and that's typically how I play it, and it's worked well for me. My goodness, that looked good for a long ways. In with the par here on the last. Well, that is it. We finished at three under on our first round here at Copper Rock. Had fun. Putter, if it would have heated up, we could have posted a dirty low round. However, no worries. Finished in the 60s, 69, three under, even par on today's video, but three under for the full 18. Hope y'all are enjoying these journey vlogs around Utah and Nevada. I sure am. And as for me, Copper Rock, Southern Utah. We'll see you when we see you. Peace.